I realized early on that my life was going to be a little different. The people around me tried to tell me that a normal life was going to be impossible. Come to think of it, impossible was a word I heard a lot. But then again, I've learned not to pay too much attention to it. The sorts of things that most people take for granted take a little bit of a different approach when you're legally blind. When I was five years old, I was diagnosed with macular dystrophy. I was completely blind in my central vision and I'd lost 95% of my peripheral vision. To imagine how I see, put your fists up in front of your eyes to block out all of your central vision and then imagine that 95% of the clarity is gone from your peripheral vision. The experts confronted my family and I with the projected outlook of my life, which would include no sport, a severely limited education, and career aspirations out of the question. We chose not to hear that so-called expert advice and decided to create our own reality. So it turns out that my world's a little bit different to your world. It turns out that my challenges are a little bit more fundamental than yours. Most people seem to think that an overly strong latte is a serious problem to their day. I'm happy just to get the cup into my hand in the first place. To be honest, just getting to work can be a hassle when you can't see the train, the platform, or the gap that lies between. And that's what this is all about. How do you face your challenges? What do you see as your limits? And are those limits real? A long time ago, everyone was telling me that I'd never read, I'd never write, I'd never get through school, and I'd never get a good job. They said that my life would be lived in some type of black haze, tapping my way from corner to corner with a blind man's cane. That latte is looking a lot less important to you every minute, right? It's all about how you see things, or in my case, how you don't. Where most people see limits, I see a glass ceiling ready to smash. Where most people see barriers, I see something to leap over. It's not that I'm particularly special. I've just had to develop a new set of tools. I've used that mindset and tools to learn to read, to learn to write, to get through school, and to get that job. It turns out I didn't need that cane after all. My life isn't a daily challenge, a daily struggle, or a place to feel like a victim. It's about swimming, surfing, and bike racing. It's about big business and big deals. It's about competing for Australia at the Paralympics. And it's all about perspective. So I've decided to help other people with what I've learned. I love to help people smash through their barriers, leap over their limits, and I'd like to share with you a few unique tools I've learned along the way. They say that when you lose your sight, your other senses are heightened. Well, I'd like to share all of that and more with you. Welcome to my world.